A Lawrence County educator faces battery charges involving a student. Hello and thanks for joining us. I'm Frank Malloy. Lisa Hester was arrested Saturday for allegedly assaulting one of her students at West Lawrence Middle School. Cecily Stout spoke with the victim's family and the sheriff's office about what happened. She would have been the last one I would have expected to do anything like this. A West Lawrence Middle School paraprofessional was arrested Saturday for allegedly assaulting one of her students. Gunner Pope is a nonverbal student with Down syndrome. The sheriff's office says Lisa Hester was told to leave school after she admitted to the school resource officer that she put duct tape on Pope three times. Instead of putting the tape across the mouth, he just had it running, or she had it running up and down across the student's mouth. The family says Hester worked with Gunner for the past three years at West Lawrence Middle School and never had a problem like this before. I asked her to say it one more time because I didn't believe what I had. Thought I heard her say. Angie Poole is Pope's mother. She says her son came home acting out of character last Tuesday, but she thought it was a bad day because he can't tell her what happened. And I didn't know until the next day. So, I mean, then it kind of made sense when I found out that maybe that's why he acted like that the day before. Captain Robbie Tony says the report was made by another paraprofessional at the middle school. The, uh, school officials are mandated reporters for child abuse and sexual assault. So they were following their product protocol and notified our deputy there at the school. Poole says she wishes the school had a camera inside the classroom to protect the students and understand why this happened. I don't know. I just feel like it would just it would help a lot of my un, you know, answered questions if they did have it. Hester has been charged with three misdemeanor counts of simple battery and a felony of second degree child cruelty. Superintendent Clifford Gonto says the safety of students is a top priority. He says they cannot control the actions of an adult, but they can control their response. In Lawrence County, Cecily Stout, 13 WMEZ News. The next school board meeting is set for this Friday. Superintendent Garnto says that meeting was already scheduled to discuss hiring of school personnel.